Hi guys, it's Mel here from Mel W Scrapping. Uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, if you're new here, I do scrapbooking. Uh, and, you know, at the same time, uh, press the subscribe button. I'd love to have you see my layouts that I do and press the little bell and then you'll know when I've actually posted a layout. Now, I'm actually going to do a layout today for, I've got it right here, uh, Colour Craze series with MK and Janet. So MK and Janet picked out some mood boards for this month. Certain days we did a different one. This is our last one. And it's a Halloween-y. I'll put the mood board up on the left-hand side as well as the uh, sketch that I'm going to have a go at, which is 30 Days of Sketches, Christie's Beautiful Life, Series 16, Day 30, and it's Shannon Blinn's. And I do um, another series with Shannon as well. So at the same time, all this is going to come into off the board with pineapple papers because I'm pretty sure the mood boards that MK and Janet picked out were from Pinterest. So I'm pretty sure they were trying to keep in with people. Now I'm also going to do something with um, included. It's, it's all going to fit in. It's going to fit in perfectly. Um, Creative Chaos, um, she does a sh shake it. Shake it, create it, something rather. She picks things out of a jar and you've got three things that you need to include on your layout. I'll get the correct thing for it after and pop it in the description box. Um, it's just gone from me now. So what she picked for this week was the number six. So it could be the number six anywhere or you use six things like six flowers, six hearts or six whatever. Uh, embossing folder. I'll show you how I've used an embossing folder in just a moment. And ribbon and twine. Well, I'm going to pop some ribbon as a little border thing down here. So I've popped it at the back of that bit that I got out of some Halloween paper. Now I'm going to do my layout today without photos because, well, I don't really have any till tomorrow. <laughs> um, I did take a couple of Danina the other day when she tried her outfit on when it come. And uh, I think she's going to look great. Now, I did promise you guys, my meerkats. Uh, this is a meerkat. Where did I just put her label? I don't know. But her name's Zelda. So, this is a meerkat. So, Woolworths here in Australia, or I don't know. I don't think you guys have Woolworths and Coles over in America. Um, but here in Australia, it's the big supermarkets are Coles or Woolworths. And I think on the mainland, they have Audi. Um they bring out at different times of the year different little ornaments they can either be really like small like this or quite large about that by about that <clears throat> so i got a zelda she's a little witch she's absolutely gorgeous my daughter picked this one out for me she said you've got to have this one for halloween mum so um zelda's gonna sit on my desk for a couple of days and she's gonna be my little halloween mascot because as I said before on yesterday's um, video, here in Australia, Halloween's not a huge thing. Um, in fact, two years ago, I struggled to get... <clears throat> oh, there's her little tag. Um, stickers for Halloween. That's her little tag there. Zelda the Meerkat Witch. She's beautiful. Um, so I had to get some Halloween plates and serviettes and use them oh, and cupcake um, container things and I had to sort of try and flatten them out and then the year after so 20 what are we 24 22 21 21 I think that was so 22 I got these stickers came out the sloths and the pineapples and in fact there was quite a few other different ones and I only grabbed these two I grabbed two packets of the sloths, as you can see. And then this year, we're back to not having much at all. And there was just a sticker book out. That's it, at Reject Shop. That was all I could get. Righto, make my own. Um, so, I'm going to do... So, on the left-hand side, you'll notice that... Uh, the sketch is sort of laid out like this, and the title's on the other side of the page. Well, this bit here I'm going to use as my title, okay? And I'm going to put two photos here and embellish, right? And I'm going to pop a little, little thingy down here. So we're going to go up like this. I'll put it all together 
just a second. I just want to show you guys. Now my embossing folder, I had clouds. And so what I did is I got my ink pad. I went over the raised bit, although I probably should have gone. I still wouldn't have worked, I don't think. Um, over the raised bit with my black ink, like so. Pop the paper in between. You know, close it up. Put it through my big shot. And then I got the piece of card out. It's actually more embossed on that side. But the colour's gone, the black ink's gone right down in, like, and it's made it grey looking. So I've come out with some little clouds that I can use as embellishments. Okay? So I picked out, and I've only cut five of those, so that's not my six. I'm going to put some black cats on there. Things I don't have any meerkats. So I'm going to use those. <clears throat> so I've got some ribbon on there, and I'm going to use some twine, a bit different. I don't even know if it's going to work or not. So let's get let's get this pop down. I'm actually doing some things. I I I don't even know if it's going to turn out all right. I'm not going mixed media today. I had my mixed media fun yesterday, and I thought, you know what? Let's just go with the coloring on the mood board. So I've gone with the colors. I've gone with Halloween paper, um, and I'm going to do a Halloween. Uh, layout and the re there's a reason I'm putting bats on here okay because Danina's outfit she is I'll pop a photo at the end of the uh, video for you guys of when she tried it on I had to order it from a place here called spotlight and I had to order it online it was an online only order and I said to my daughter, you know, go on and see which one you would like to get and I'll order it and hopefully it'll get here on time. Thinking, oh yeah, she'll just order something, you know, $20, $20-$30. My daughter has expensive tastes, everyone. Uh, she goes, I really like this outfit. And I went, you really do, do you? Really? You don't like that one back there? I really like that one back there. Do you think that worked? No. She wanted the $44 one. I thought, oh my goodness, I don't know if I've got enough. So I budgeted for it. I left it till Thursday to, um, I'm going to have to use my knife. Where's my knife gone? Uh, to get it. And the lid's gone off it, so I'm going to have to try and find that. Um, I had to wait till Thursday to order it, thinking, I don't even know if this is going to get here on time. Anyway, I thought, well, this is going to be $44 plus shipping, no doubt, because it will come from the mainland. And I did the order online, and I'm not, I mean, I'm not that, uh, I don't order online very often, like, uh, it's, it's not something I do regularly. I do with two companies for scrapbooking, but that's about it. And when I ordered from them, it didn't come up how it would how it normally comes up probably I buy something from spotlight online probably once a year when they have a really good you know Vicky Booten special on or you know Chamel or Paige um, Evans or something like that <clears throat> and then you can't get the whole thing you can only get parts of it the collection I'm trying to get out well it didn't come up how it normally does and I'm thinking well, do I have to pay shipping or... You know, it hasn't said that I have to pay shipping. Anyway, so it said that you could, you know, email the a question direct to Spotlight people. I never got a reply back. Next thing I know, I'm getting an email saying, uh, your order will be uh, delivered, free of delivery, direct from the supplier. And I thought, that's what I thought I was doing. Like, I thought I was getting it from you guys. In actual fact, what it meant was the people that supply the costumes to Spotlight, it actually came from them. So, for some unknown reason, it must have been some special they had with the costumes. I didn't have to pay shipping. And I ordered it, so I ordered it Friday morning, actually, in the end. 
and it was here by Monday lunchtime. They actually air expressed it by courier. And I, I went into town. I went for a walk, as I told you guys. I went for a walk and came home. And I went, what the heck's that at the front door? Like, what, what have I ordered that would come courier? Like, oh, I'm a little confused. Anyway, I opened it up and it was my daughter's uh, outfit. And I went, oh. Oh, well, I obviously didn't have to pay shipping. <laughs> you know, I get a little bit nervous online. Now, I'm going to, my title is going to be Boo. Right? It's going to be Boo. Just plain old Boo. Uh, and I'm using zeros for that. Now, what I wanted to do, now, don't know, if, now, everyone, bear with me. I have no idea if this is going to work. Oh, darn. I'll go about there. I'll just go that roughly. One. Two. I wanted to do something different. And then I'll embellish. Using the twine. And this is black and white. So that kind of, the black goes in with the mood board. Right. Four bits of twine. And I want to hang them from here. Right, so I'm going to put two bits of double-sided tape there. Two bits there. Oh, I don't really want that bigger piece, but it'll come off. Oh, that was no sticky on that bit. I wonder if it came off. Knife, please come here, though. left my um, fussy cut scissors downstairs, which is what I normally use to get the back off. Sorry, my head's probably in the way. I know Amanda uses her knife, but I don't know how the heck she does it. Because I can't. She must be more special than me. Right, I'm going to go. Up to the top and up to the top, roughly. And I'm gonna pull it apart a bit. Pull this one apart a bit. I don't normally do this either. I just want them to dangle down. This one's already starting to fray where I've tried to cut it before. Lovely. Straight over a little. Right. Now, so what I will do is get another two bits. Go about there, about there, oh, I can't get my fingers to work properly today, my knuckles are so sore. Now, we might go above 
of microvilli. Clouds, something like this. Where's the other one that was a bit cut off? Probably lost it. Oh no, I have five. Oh there. I'm going over here. Like that. And maybe down here. Let's go one on its own. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing clouds because clouds can be quite scary. You know, when they make the sky go all funny. Uh, and depending on it, can make it all make the moon look all funny. And I can't believe I made that out of a. Embossing folder, but the emboss bits on the back. <laughs> At least the colours in there. Alright, so all the rest of my embellishments are stickers. Go here like that. I don't know, I've got arthritis in my my knuckles today, something chronic. So I don't know if it's from all the fussy cutting I've been doing at night time or what. That one in first. So it's been quite nice here the last couple of days. I think we're meant to get rain again tomorrow. Typical. And uh, so when I get the photos on there, I'll just change the subject again. I will um, go under the cloud. Now, we're meant to get rain again tomorrow. Then it's meant to go back down from 22 and 23 the last couple of days to oh, a whole 18, 19 degrees. So are you choking me? Right, there was two cute little thingies on here. It's gonna go this little guy down here. Put that one up there looking at the clouds there. And With our black cats. Let's get our black cats on there before I. These these black cats are quite comical. In here, if, oh, if I can get them off. They're a glittery type. Oh, I'll we'll pop him there. There's one black cat. This one can go over that side because it's looking that way. It's going to go here like so. Two. Gonna go down here. Three. Let's call on the letter B. Well, let's go like that. Right. Oh, 
was scary to me there. Uh, not now. I think that'll do. So I've got my six cuts on there. Got ribbon. I've used an embossing folder. A bit differently, but I've used it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some splatters. So I'll do the purple first. Zelda, you need to move so you don't get covered. Now, you might think this isn't going to come out, but it's iridescent. I mean, it's probably not going to come off, but on black it doesn't look too bad. I'm hoping just a little bit comes out in parts that um, it'll show you when I put the photos on but anyway we've got that one and then I'll go the Uncharted Mariner Oxide comes off quite easily. I am getting splatters everywhere but hey I don't mind. I'll just go on that because some of it might show around the edge eventually. And will I do this I might just leave it at the blue and the purple. Kind of like that. So there's the twine. Oh. I have a big thing of twine. I don't use it very much. Okay, so this is going to be my layout for this a uh, lot of series and things. I'd just like to thank MK and Janet um, for picking out these mood boards and something different for us to have a go at. I have actually enjoyed, you know, having a go at the mood boards. Um, I'd like to thank Shanna for doing her Create It, Scrap It, and whatever it's called I can't think now it's just gone from the top of my head thinking because this is the first time I've had a go at this and I've actually liked it um and Crystal runs off the board she does a fabulous job and and Christy is 30 days of sketches now she does a fantastic job to get all the sketches in thank you Shannon for this um sketch I've done your left hand side and I will add the photos when I get them printed Thank you everyone for watching. I appreciate you all for being here. Uh, now, if you think you might like to have a go at this, please, by all means, press pause, take a screenshot and have a go. I haven't done anything like this before. Let alone use my twine like that. I'm a little bit nervous that it doesn't look all right, but I'm hoping it does. Uh, at the same time, if you do like what I've come up with, if you could give me a thumbs up, that would be really appreciated. Thank you so very much. Down below in the description box, I will have the playlist for Off the Board or the, the list of people playing with Off the Board. I will have the YouTube channels for Shannon and for MK and Janet and Shannon Keith, who's Creative Chaos. And I'll have all their Facebook groups as well. A playlist for 30 days. So check it all out. Check out everyone's inspirations. If you're in a bit of a rut and you think, oh, I don't know if I want to do this, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do for starters, go and check out some of the videos and just get a few ideas. Uh, honestly, it works because I was in a little bit of a rut not long ago. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for watching. I appreciate you all for being here. Show everyone some love on the on their YouTube channels. Subscribe to them if you're not already. It doesn't cost to subscribe, like, or comment to anyone on YouTube. And it helps everyone grow their channel. Just a like, 
um, watching their video and a comment, you know, and just an, a simple comment, something you like about their layout. All of those three things go a long way to help that channel grow. So thank you everyone for being here. Thank you if you're new to my channel and I hope I've done enough for you to consider subscribing. I'll put some photos at the end where my daughter tried on her outfit. She's the evening enchantress. So she said she's got some ideas for makeup and things. So there could be black boots involved and you name it. It could look interesting. So I'll pop those at the end. And two of those will be going on here for starters. Thank you, everyone. I will see you all in the next one. Stay safe, happy scrapping, and enjoy Halloween when it comes in America. Um, so it won't be Halloween. For us, it's Halloween tomorrow. So it'll be my Saturday that I'll, you guys will have Halloween. So enjoy it. Have fun. Have lots of lollies. <laughs> see you, everyone. Bye for now.